Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 original songs from TV. Bad stuff happens in the bathroom. I'm just glad that it happens in a vacuum. For this list, we'll be looking at the songs that are instantly recognizable and take us right back to the TV show they were created for. We won't be looking at any musical shows or special musical episodes for this list. Which of these catchy TV tunes gets stuck on repeat in your brain? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Let's go to the mall. How I Met Your Mother. Nobody can get us excited to hang out at a food court as Robin Scherbatsky. When Ted's Canadian girlfriend refuses to go to a mall, he and his friends can't resist the mystery. So you don't think there's any friend from Canada? Oh, I'm sure there is. Just like I have a friend who wet his bed till he was 10. Use your brain, Ted. After a number of failed guesses, they're delighted to learn that she was a teenaged one-hit wonder. The audience has just as much fun bopping with the retro video from her past as Robin's snarky friends do. Put on your jelly bracelets and your cool graffiti coat. At the mall, having fun is what it's all about. Her musical history continues to make hilarious appearances throughout the show's many seasons. Clearly, actress Kobe Smulders was also a fan of her sparkly alter ego. She even put out a new version of the original hit during quarantine. Let's go to the mall. Number 9. Hip Hopopotamus vs. Rhinoceros, Flight of the Concords. During a meeting with their manager, this kooky two man band from New Zealand decides they want to be called by their rapper names. Uh, Mario, I was wondering if you could call me by my rapping name. Your rapping name? Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Later, they're approached by two street toughs who try to mug them. Jermaine and Brett take this opportunity to intimidate their assailants with a rap song that features Hip Hopopotamus and Rhinoceros. I'm the mother flippin' Rhinoceros. My beats are fat and the buzz are on my back and I'm horny. I'm horny. Their confident yet contradictory lyrics seem to confuse more than frighten their foes. The awkward dance moves and hilarious lyrics perfectly sum up the vibe of this offbeat series. This is not a large water dwelling mammal. Where did you get that preposterous hypothesis? Did Steve tell you that perchance? Mm, Steve. This duo is indeed the mother flippin', and we don't plan to forget it. Mother flippin'. Number 8. If I Didn't Have You, Bernadette's Song, The Big Bang Theory. It's possible that Soft Kitty might be the most frequently performed song on this popular sitcom. After all, it seems to make an appearance whenever Sheldon feels sick. However, it's the love song Howard writes for his anniversary with Bernadette that really sticks with us. If I didn't have you, life would be blue. I'd be Doctor Who without the TARDIS. If you're looking for a nerdy, ridiculously romantic love song, then this is the tune for you. I'd be solving exponential equations that use basic stuff down on your calculator, making it much harder to crack. Actor Simon Helberg shows off his impressive piano skills that would later make an appearance in other projects to come. It's a sweet, geeky moment that features the entire cast working together in harmony. From the moment that we met you, Number 7. Negro y Azul, The Ballad of Heisenberg, Breaking Bad In this mysterious teaser, the Mexican band Los Cuates de Sinaloa kicks off this season 2 episode of Breaking Bad with the ranchera drug anthem. La ciudad se llama Duke, Nuevo México, el estado. The song is a celebration of Walter White's persona, Heisenberg. If you don't understand the Spanish lyrics, you might think it's an upbeat tune. Entre la gente mafiosa, su fama se ha propagado. However, it quickly takes a darker turn, as images of drug paraphernalia, money, and bodies become part of the visuals. This narco corrido ballad describes the anger of the cartels over the popularity of Heisenberg's new stuff. It's a dark prediction of Walt's future and makes for a memorable deviation. No más no le han avisado. Number 6. Best Day Ever, SpongeBob SquarePants. Although we love a rousing stadium anthem like Sweet Victory, it wasn't written exclusively for the show. Sweet Victory. 
Also, can any song sum up SpongeBob's sunny outlook more than best day ever? The lovable sponge wakes up determined to have the perfect day. Mr. Sun came up and he smiled at me. He has a full day of activities with his friends, all planned, ready to go. Followed by a vigorous midday session of karate with Sandy and an afternoon jellyfishing with Patrick. When it all goes awry, SpongeBob learns that the best day is actually one spent with friends, regardless of what you're doing. As a thanks for all of his help throughout the day, his buddies give him the chance to perform the tune for a crowd. It's the best. How long are they willing to support him? Just till his little heart gives out, Squidward. Just till his little heart gives out. Number 5. The FCC Song, Family Guy From its initial airing, this animated comedy has been the center of controversy for its adult language and content. They will clean up all your talking in a manner such as this. They will make you take a tinkle when you wanna take a piss. That's what makes this ditty such a nice sum up of the show's disregard for the rules. Since the FCC received multiple petitions to have the show shut down for indecency, the song rejoices in including as many troublesome subjects as possible. So they sent this little warning, they're prepared to do their worst, and they stuck it in your mailbox hoping you could be coerced. Each of the show's signature cutaway clips cheekily features something that the FCC would object to. It's both a commentary and a smack in the face to anyone who supports rampant censorship. Take a tip, take a lesson, you'll never win by messing with the fellas at the freaking FCC. Number 4. Kyle's Mom's a Bitch, South Park This animated comedy's edgy humor is in full force with this song. Taking place in the long-running show's first season, it pulls no punches. Have you ever met my friend Kyle's mom? She's the biggest bitch in the whole world. An entire gymnasium of children clap along as Eric Cartman swears out his friend's mother. In the episode, Kyle's mom persuades the school district to remove religious symbols from a Christmas play. Listen, Kyle's mom is here to ruin Christmas. As a result, the angry kids are ready to lay the blame on thick. Since this episode also introduces the fan favorite Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh, it's a tune that will always bring us back to the irreverent series. Kyle's mom, they be, they be, they be, they be. Number 3. Dick in a Box, Saturday Night Live In 2005, the Lonely Island comedy trio started creating digital shorts for SNL. Although not their first song on the show, this Christmas-themed tune has become one of their most popular. Girl, you know we've been together such a long, long time. Andy Samberg and Justin Timberlake fully commit to R&B personas who offer their girlfriends what they consider to be the perfect holiday gift. Although the FCC required they bleep out portions of the video on TV, it was released unedited online. The uncensored version was watched more than 320,000 times in less than a week while the song won a Creative Arts Emmy for Outstanding Original Music and Lyrics. He, he went for it immediately. And wow. in fact, we're comedians, so we were like, I don't know, this might be stupid. And right. I pitched him the idea, and he was like, that's great. That's going to be a hit. Number two, Smelly Cat, Friends. Despite what her friends might think, Phoebe Buffay knew that her song was going to be a hit. It turns out she was right. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? This feline-themed tune has been performed by a plethora of famous voices. Chrissy Hind, lead singer of The Pretenders, began the musical journey as Phoebe's replacement at Central Perk. From there, it's been covered by artists like Chris Isaac, Kobe Calais, and Taylor Swift. Phoebe actor Lisa Kudrow even got to duet with Lady Gaga while performing the song for Friends, The Reunion. You may not be a bed of roses, and you're no friend of those with the noses. The tune is forever entwined with the lovable Phoebe, and has as much brand recognition for the show as its catchy theme song.
not bad. Was it, not, was it okay? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, it was really, really good. Thank you so much. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. 5,000 Candles in the Wind, Parks and Recreation. It's 5,000 times better than a song about one candle in the wind. Muffin Top, 30 Rock, a sassy song from an independent lady. The Muffin Top is all that, whole grain low fat, I know you want a piece of that. I really don't hate Christmas, Phineas and Ferb. Even a supervillain can't resist this feel-good holiday. I can work a panamacity for almost anything, tell me why I don't hate Christmas. In the Moonlight, Do Me, Modern Family. A touching love ballad with a teenage twist. Baby, baby, maybe I will steal you, I steal you. Bad stuff happens in the bathroom. Bob's Burgers. An unfortunate incident in the restroom results in a song of hope. Be out of here in no time. I'll be doing interviews and feeling just fine. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, happy birthday, Lisa, The Simpsons. There are so many great original songs from The Simpsons that it's hard to choose a favorite. Who doesn't love the sweet song, Baby on Board, by Homer's Barbershop Quartet? We'll also always have a soft spot for Bart's boy band Party Posse and their hit song, Drop the Bomb. However, there's just something special about Bart singing a song for his sister on her birthday. Lisa, it's your birthday. God bless you this day. Michael Jackson penned the lyrics to Happy Birthday Lisa, and the sound-alike singer voiced Bart's duet partner, Leon Kompowski. I wish you better than your heart desires And your first kiss from a boy This touching moment where Bart tries to be a good brother is both heartwarming and memorable. Lisa, it's your birthday Happy Birthday Lisa Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.